This is Chapter Six, Problem Number Seventeen. The lucky number for this problem is nine. This will be your lucky number. Okay. So far, we have talked about two types of energy. One is called work, so that's the mechanical energy. The other one is called kinetic energy. So let me do a review. Work. Is equal to force times distance if it's linear, moving in the direction of the force. Kinetic energy is equal to half m v square. Okay, so how much work is required to stop an electron, which is moving with a speed of one point one times ten to the six meters per second? By the way, what type of energy would this electron have? An electron is moving. When something is moving, that means it has kinetic energy. So we can plug in over here kinetic energy Ke that is equal to half times m times v squared that is equal to half m. It's good. It has the right unit. So nine point one one times ten to the minus thirty one. And make sure you know how to enter this number in your calculator. Times v square, so v is one point one times ten to the six meters per second square. If you do everything, I'm gonna do it now. So it will be half. That is point five times nine point one one times ten raised to the negative thirty one times. Over here, you have to put parentheses when you enter the numbers in your calculator. Times ten raised to the sixth power, and then square. Okay, so the kinetic energy based on my calculation over here it is five point five one times ten to the minus nineteen joules. Okay. So when anything is moving, any object is moving, we can calculate for its kinetic energy, and the kinetic energy is always positive because. M is always positive, and v square is always positive. Now the question asks, how much work is required to stop this one? Okay, so that means the work energy must be equal to this energy in order to stop it. Okay, so the work will be also equal to this one. And later on, you will know this is called conservation of energy.